We will get to that momentarily. Meanwhile, in Columbus, Ohio State's home opener under the lights as well. Eighth ranked team squaring off with Virginia Tech. The Hokies also want to know after beating William and Mary last week. Took a little over a half for the Buckeyes to get going in that win over Navy. And as Mark reports in the Buckeye beat, Urban Meyer's worries don't lie at that quarterback position. Concern number one is offensive line. We're facing a very, could be, uh, I'm trying to thank the rest of our opponents, this will be one of the top two, one or two defensive lines we'll face all year. Our offense line did not play like an Ohio State offense line. Uh, the standard was set many, many years ago. I think Coach Warner the last two years really added to the reputation of Ohio State offense line. We did not play like that. Uh, the second half we played pretty good, but pretty good's not what we expect. You play pretty good this week, you won't win that game. So we have to get much better fast in the offensive line. There are also lingering concerns over the OSU pass defense after not being tested against Navy. I mean, you can almost say you're never where you want to be, and you just got to keep setting the bar higher. But I think that our defense has developed pretty well. Um, you know, the first game is always a little bit sloppy in terms of, um, you know, tackling and getting lined up and getting the rotation down and everything. But I think we still did a pretty good job of that. We've had, uh, you know, we've got some improvements to make there. Um, but we just got to keep going, and, and I think the one thing that we're doing better right now than we've done in the past is uh, learning the game plan really well and being able to recognize formations and personnel groupings and then being able to take that and play fast. Meyer has made no secret the importance he places on special teams, raving this week about Rod Smith's blocking on a punt. It's an appreciation that began when Bob Davey put Meyer in charge of the Notre Dame special teams 15 years ago. I was the receiver coach, and Bob Davey came walking in and said, you're the special teams coordinator. And I said, I don't want to be the special. I didn't really say it like that because he just said, you're out. But uh, he was one of the guys I went because he's, you know, Beamer Ball was something that's been around for a long time, and I'd like to think we've patterned ourselves ever since that was in 1999 or something like that, 98, when he said that. That's when the, my appreciation for special teams. And then I see what Virginia Tech did for so many years. Uh, I studied him in person, and I studied him afar ever since. And he set a standard for he'll go down as, you know, how they won games. First of all, he's a classy guy that does things the right way. But second of all, his style of play is, is so unique for many, many years. He'll, he's, obviously, he's a legend. The primetime start also gives the players plenty of time to wait. Yeah, it's a long day. You know, a lot of walkthroughs, and you get a little nap time. And the anticipation, it's, you know, it's a lot. But, uh, you know, it's all worth it when 8 o'clock comes around. Well, not only will this be the first game with the expanded seats at uh, Ohio Stadium, the permanent lights, but they also put in new field turf at the shoe. And, well, Ohio Stadium, Ohio State never want to miss a chance to make a buck or two. They are now selling pieces of the old field turf as uh, they try and raise some more funds for the university. Mike Miller from WIMA 1150, our Buckeye Insider, joins us now. And, Mike, I think the greater point, though, about the, the renovated stadium is the yeah. fact that Ohio State is expecting this to be the largest crowd ever at Ohio State because you had the 2,600 seats or more, and you know, when you throw in the media and security and concessions and the workers and, mm -hmm. and the traveling parties, that's the full attendance of the game. I, I think a lot of folks are expecting over 107,000, maybe even 108,000 at this game. I think it's going to be quite frankly, awesome, Mark. And, you know, from a structural standpoint, the way they've sort of closed in with a roof over those tunnels, it could frankly be even louder than it is anyhow. So it should be quite the scene on Saturday night, unveiling the new renovated Ohio Stadium, the excitement of a new season yet still, and obviously with the home opener at Ohio State is, is nothing but excitement. So it's going to be a special night, and certainly the hope is the football team will come through. Uh, Virginia Tech, Ohio State, first time they've ever faced against each other. Interestingly, this will be the first regular season meeting for Virginia Tech against a team in the Big Ten. Now, they have played Maryland and Rutgers and, and Nebraska in regular season games, but that was pr prior to those three teams joining the Big Ten Conference. They've played two Big Ten teams in bowl games. They beat Indiana back in 1992, lost to Michigan in the 2012 Sugar Bowl, which is the last time Virginia Tech had a 10-win season. Yeah, that's a little surprising to me, their lack of 
historical rapport with the Big Ten, although the Big Ten and ACC hasn't been that connected necessarily in football. You mentioned a couple of the, the bowl matchups, but I think it's great. I mean, Virginia Tech and their tremendous coach, Frank Beamer, has been successful for 25 years plus, and, and for them to match up with Ohio State is, is tailor-made. It's a classic college football non-conference showdown of 4 September. I don't think you could have had much better opponent for the Buckeyes. Some would argue they would like to see an SEC team come in there, but that's just probably not going to happen. Five, 15 years ago, I'd agree with you 100%. Yeah. I don't agree with you now. Virginia Tech is yeah. not the same program they were uh, even a few years ago. They're, they're yeah. just 15 and 11 the last two years. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think if Ohio State gets a victory on Saturday, I think a lot of people are going to just kind of shrug their shoulders and say, yeah. this Virginia Tech team isn't that good to begin with. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, it's, it's a, the changing uh, seasons of college football, but you know, how long ago was this game scheduled? I, I think really that's the driver the last few years. Virginia Tech has settled in a little bit, not with their consistent 10-win season, so they aren't what they have been. Uh, but that's all part of the scheduling fluke. That was true with Cal uh, for a couple of years for the Buckeyes back-to-back, -back, and it's been true with others. But I think still with Coach Beamer and the respect that Virginia Tech has developed uh, with their success, it's a good, really an excellent opponent for Ohio State in, in the context of the Buckeye football season. But there's no question in terms of the Nationals, it might be quite typical. Well, Ohio State just beat somebody, uh, but they probably weren't that good anyhow. We might be facing that. You know, we, we heard earlier from Urban Meyer about how much he, he appreciates the special teams work that Frank Beamer has done, the Beamer ball. Yeah. You look at Virginia Tech's recipe, 134 touchdowns from defense and special teams under Frank Beamer in 330-some games. Yeah, yeah that, that's incredible. I love that as a, as a fan. And as you know, as somewhat of a connoisseur of the sport, uh, that's really the ultimate. That's a, that's the sort of program success coaching style, understanding nuances of the opposition and taking advantage of it. That's the ultimate tribute to a coach and a program forcing turnovers and taking advantage. And we certainly saw in the Ohio State victory over Navy how much a momentum swing it can be when the yeah. defense comes up with six points, as uh, Darren Lee did with the fumble return for the touchdown mm -hmm. in the third quarter. Yeah. Your prediction for Saturday night's game? Well, I've got high hope for the Buckeyes, the home opener. I think this is a situation where the where the home field's going to be huge. It's going to really energize this Ohio, football, Ohio State football team. I think the defensive line uh, for the Buckeyes, is, even without Noah Spence, is going to really come to the fore and be a factor against a young Virginia Tech team that's going to overwhelm, I think, Virginia Tech's offense. It's going to allow the defense to sit a lot, and I expect more out of the Ohio State offense. You add it all up, and I, I see a big night for the Buckeyes. They'll way cover the spread. I'm looking at something like 38-13 Ohio State. And the Buckeyes did fall in the polls this week. They remain in the top 10. And Virginia Tech doesn't have a victory over a top 10 opponent since 2009. They've dropped three in a row against the top 10. Andy, back to you.